Hey socialites, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Arielle. I do mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle. So those are the type of videos you enjoy. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So the Sephora sale has rolled back around. It actually starts tomorrow, November the 1st. 30% off on everything Sephora collection for everyone. And then tomorrow also starts the 20% off for Sephora Rouge members. And on November the 5th, the sale starts for VIB members and Insider, which is 15% off and 10% off for Insider members. Everything I mentioned in today's video, I'll have linked down below in the description box. So I do wanna encourage you guys to shop through those links. So if you wanna see what I got in my cart, then keep watching. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting so excited excited the closer it is to midnight. I said, let me get on here after the kids go to sleep and narrow this cart down because there's no way. It's so interesting that when you feel like you need absolutely nothing is when the list is the longest, right? So first on the list is the St. Bart's body wash. Now I put this on the list because it's the way body wash, by the way, which is like a tropical smelling body wash, but it smells luxe. It smells like something you will wear to an expensive luxury resort. So it gives you those tropical coconutty sweet notes in there but then there's some musk in there like soft musk that just makes it smell a little bit more sophisticated I love it but this summer I usually take it on trips with me this summer I went to Vegas and my mom packed my bag for me and she put it in the carry-on and y'all it was basically brand new and they took it and threw it away and right at that moment this summer is when I started my Sephora cart <laughs> for the sale well, I started my Sephora list for the sale because I already knew I would be repurchasing it because I immediately missed it. But they also have the Way St. Bart's Getaway Value Set, which I bought the last sale. And it comes with the body wash. And that's actually how I got the body wash. I didn't buy it alone. It came in the set. You get the full size of the body wash. You get the body cream and the body scrub. And I've used most of the cream and the scrub. So I was thinking, you know, the value get, because I think the body wash alone is $28 and you get all three for $59 which is a great deal and then with my 20% off so I was thinking about just getting the whole set instead next is it's gonna be between two either the Amicole concealer or the Pat McGrath concealer now I've heard great things about both but I get so many people asking me to compare certain concealers to Pat McGrath and because of that I'm like I need to try Pat McGrath because I don't really know what it's giving so if you guys guys prefer one over the other comment down below and let me know so I'm definitely gonna pick between one of those two I do have two lipsticks on here and I'm gonna get between one of these two which is either Penelope pink or yes honey lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury now one of the socialites recommended that I try one of those and I love Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks did you guys know that Chanel has a new perfume out so a couple months ago I went to the Chanel we have a Chanel beauty store here that only sells Chanel makeup fragrances and they also have like sunglasses and maybe nail polish and that's it and it's just a beauty standalone store so I went to the store and they had just launched a new Chanel Gabrielle perfume and it smells so good so feminine so soft very like soft girl era type of perfume which is right up my alley Libre Le Parfum that's on the list that's a non-negotiable it's staying on the list it's my favorite out of all the Libres I have the travel size that I pretty much used up because I usually use the Libre Intense and I'm almost out of that and so instead of repurchasing the Intense which I really love as well I'm gonna do Le Parfum Merit's new eyebrow pencil I love it y'all this is actually it right here I used it up so they sent it to me a few months ago y'all and usually when I do my makeup I'll switch up pencils I used this all the way till it was nothing else so I can't even show y'all what the tip looks like because I used it all the way up first of all I love the chrome packaging but what I love the most about it is 
I'm a brow gel girly and I like to put on brow gel before I even do anything else to my brows. That's like the first step. I know some people put on brow gel when they're done with the brows. I start off with brow gel. And because of that, some pencils you have to kind of go like maybe two or three passes before the pencil really shows up wherever you feel the gel at, depending on, you know, which brow gel you use. And something about this Merit pencil, the consistency is a little bit different from my Sephora Micro Brow Pencil, my Sephora Collection one, which I love. There's something in here that's slightly waxy, but it doesn't look shiny. And when I go over it with my brow gel, it just instantly glides on with the right amount of pigment. I just found myself reaching for it until it was gone, y'all. So definitely want to pick up one more of these. I want to get another Sephora plumping gloss. So I was in the store maybe about a week or so ago, and I saw a glittery shade that I don't think I've ever seen before. And it was shade 11. It was so pretty. <laughs> I had to make myself not get it I said you know what wait for the sale you could wait for the sale so number 11 is on here I might have to pick up my favorite shade as well which is what I'm wearing now which is 08 it's like a you guys see it but there there's some glitter reflex in here I'm not sure if the reflex show up really good on camera but outside in light and like at night like at dinners and stuff like that it shows up really really well so when I put it on for the video I realized that it's almost gone so I might be picking up another one of these the Laura Mercier original Laura Mercier translucent powder I like to use it but for the most part I use it on the occasions that I have a client and I only have a little bit left so I'll be picking up one of those glow recipe do drop on this order, and I feel like a lot of the socialites said it too, this time around it's like I'm picking up quite a few like repurchases or like staples. Glow Recipe Dew Drops, love them. They're so good if you like that dewy, plushy skin. You use it like a serum. You can also use it as like a primer. And I like to wear it before I do like powder foundations or even days that I don't wear any makeup and I just want my skin to look really glowy. Um, I love the dew drops. I actually like it better than the Hue Drops. I like the little finish that the Hue Drops gives you, but the dew drops to me make the skin look better and more hydrated. The Glossier Body Cream, the new Glossier U body cream you guys and it's so interesting because I'm almost out of it by the way I think it came out like a month or two ago and I've used almost the whole jar now I'm not crazy about the scent it's just sort of peppery to me but I know Glossier U is one of those scents that sort of smells different on everybody and the way that someone interprets the smell on you is different than how you can smell it on yourself so that's first and foremost <laughs> so with that being said Mr. Loves It On Me I I wear it to bed pretty much every night since I've gotten it. And when I don't wear it, he's asking why I don't have it on. And it's gonna be between that or the Josie Moran Vanilla Bean. Josie Moran's body creams are so, so good. If you hadn't tried them, you need to go try them. They have different scents. They have a lot of different scents. Um, and I have quite a few of them too. So if you guys want a breakdown of like body creams, let me know. I might get a video out for that. But Josie Moran body cream is just the most hydrating, looks feeling. It makes your skin feels like baby skin, you know? And so the vanilla vibes is okay. It's just, it's not like a ice creamy cake like vanilla at all so that picture on there <laughs> of the ice cream on vanilla vibes I really don't get it because to me it doesn't smell like that um, so I put vanilla bean on there because I hadn't smelled it in so long but either way I like how hydrating the formula is so it's gonna be between that or the glossy AU body cream so I did put the Sephora puff which are the velour puffs you guys if you don't get anything else <laughs> from this video you've got to try these Sephora for a collection velour puffs the size is perfect they feel so like expensive the quality is excellent on these 
because of the way it's shaped with the pointy tip you can really get in corners like really good like if you need to get you know how you set the middle of your forehead like look how perfect it is these are so good one size sponge have you guys been seeing that red sponge it looks so cool to me but I hadn't seen it in the store yet I know it's in stores but I hadn't seen it in store and so it looks really interesting so I wanted to try that out the shape of it is just really different Caudalie Veno Clean Toner I told you guys about it in my recommendations video so it's a gentle toner gets everything off balances your skin out great I love it it's my most repurchased toner out of any toner I've used Sephora collection one of their liquid lipsticks which is in the shade iced latte it's a really pale shade just for like lightening purposes i'm pretty sure i will never wear that by itself but you know how you do an ombre lip and you want to just kind of lighten in the center the ule henriksen banana bright eye cream it's up there it's best of the best it's in like my top two favorite eye creams i told you guys about that one on the recommendations video as well so that's definitely on the list so the last sale i picked up this sephora dry shampoo brush cleaner right and i love it I absolutely love it. I keep it right here on my makeup table. You just spray it on a paper towel and you, uh, I don't have a paper towel, but I have a tissue. Let me show you guys. So it's in an aerosol can, right? And then you take your, you see how that's dirty and you just, and it comes right off. And look, instantly cleans your brush you guys and I love it because when I finish up my makeup I can just give my brushes a quick once over it takes about three minutes and now my brushes are clean now I only do it like once or twice before I give it a deep clean this is like a game changer for me y'all I love 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 this but I noticed on the website when I was getting my cart together I think they've changed it I don't think it's in an aerosol can anymore and i like the smell of it as well so they have something called dry they now call it the daily brush cleaner and i think it's in like a like a regular spray bottle and not in the aerosol can i'm a little sad about that because i like the aerosol can so i'm still gonna pick up the new one and kind of see how it is i hope at least it's the same formula i definitely want to pick up a pack of the cotton pads sephora collections cotton pads are they're so good you guys in the price i think they're like four dollars or something so keep in mind everything sephora collection is 30 percent off so you're really winning over there at the sephora collection area but they're some of their skincare is really good i highly recommend one of their moisturizers i always get the name wrong so i'll put it down in the description box it's very clean it's made with about 96 percent clean ingredients which i'm also picking one of those up as well they have a vitamin c serum that's really good i was recently gifted that at a an event and i've been using it for a few days and it's good but one of the socialites told me about it before i think a few of y'all y'all told me about the vitamin c and i really like it so yeah the cotton pads i'm going to use with my toner with the caudalie toner that's what i use it for super soft they're sturdy the quality is excellent so and you can't beat the price i want to pick up a colored liner one of the 12 hour pencils from sephora collection i want something maybe like gold or bronze to put in my waterline just something to give my eye a little sparkle just a quick razzle dazzle I love when I can just add one quick thing to elevate and change up the look you know so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get but I'll play around and kind of see which one or maybe something green like green and sparkly possibly Fenty honey waffle gloss on there i think it's a gloss bomb but i saw someone wear it and it looks so good so i put that on the list and i love fenty's lip products i do have a video coming up you guys like a lip try on video i think you guys are going to really enjoy that so you can see actually how these different lip products look on and with different liner combinations i had dead cool milk on my list which is a fragrance and dead cool milk i actually did a full review of the um dead cool well it wasn't a, it was like a first impressions of the dead cool fragrances and um milk is so nice it's one of those kind of like 
You know what it actually reminds me of? It reminds me of one of those new glossy AU, the Rev one that smells like the creamier, softer version. It's like one of those skin scents that's like a soft skin scent that just makes you sm smell amazing, but like your skin, but better and more elevated. But it's sweet and it's slightly lactonic. It's definitely a compliment getter. It smells amazing, y'all. <laughs> if you like soft, subtle scents, very feminine and just effortless. But I noticed they had one of the perfume sampler sets where you could try several fragrances and then redeem a full size. So this one's $88. It comes with Dead Cool Extra Milk, which is like a little bit amped up version of the one I'm talking about, but they smell very similar. I actually like Extra Milk a little bit better. Um, they have the Annette fragrance. They have Cherry Ambition by the Seven Virtues, which I love. Sun Fruit from Ellis Brooklyn. Queens and Monsters from Henry Rose, which I love as well. That's also on my list. So this sampler set is like, oh, if I got the sampler set, would I get Queens and Mo Monsters? But I have a travel size of Queens and Monsters. So I might get this and redeem it for the Dead Cool fragrance because Queens and Monsters is another good one. And then Commodity Milk also comes in here and you can get full sizes of any one of them that you like the best for $88 and then of course you get your discount so this is a great deal and there's several perfumes in this sampler set that I actually really like so I was doing a little bit of research you guys know I like a sparkly or a glittery lip gloss and I saw Anastasia had um, a honey diamond and an amber sparkle diamond gloss that have like glitter reflex in it. Benefit Professional. This is a small one. Every sale I get this small one because I do use this on my clients and you only need a tiny bit of this. I usually put, put it like right here on my clients and um, all of them. I love how smooth it makes it look. So um, I, I don't do a lot of clients anymore. So this really lasts me. NARS has a new matte blush called Teased and it's a bright like fuchsia color. It almost looks purpley from the website. So I hadn't seen it in person, definitely in cards. <laughs> Immediately I need that. When I saw the color, it's like giving holiday to me. So I did have the one size foundation on here, but I'm actually gonna take that out because None of the shades match me. I tried y'all and none of them will work. They were like way off. So hopefully he adds a couple shades to the range so I can finally try it out. The one size puffs. Those look interesting. I like the shape of how sharp they are. Sort of reminds me of how sharp the Sephora collection one is, but I also like the angles. So I saw another perfume sampler set, right? And this one has Glossier U, Prada Paradox, Commodity Gold. It has a dead cool fragrance that's the Sun Blooms, which I love as well. So pretty and feminine and sweet. It's really nice. Valentino Donna Born in Roma and Glossier U, just the original, had been on my wish list for a long time as well. It also has a replica bubble bath in here and Marc Jacobs Daisy Wild. Like there's some really good ones in this set. So I was thinking about trying this one out. And then last I have the the Prada foundation and the Prada primer. So one of the socialites commented and said that she wanted to get the Prada primer. She likes it and I'm like, Prada primer? Maybe I need that, I don't know. <laughs> so that's what I have in my cart currently. So we shall see what I actually end up with because you know those are two whole separate <laughs> things. Comment down below and let me know if you were thinking about getting any of the items that I'm thinking about getting. Everything I mentioned today, I'll have linked down below in the description box. So be sure to check that out. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are You're too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars